Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated Update Aquatic server. With me, your host, Update Aquatic Man. Last time, we worked on several projects, not the least of which was filling in that iron farm up there with villagers and subsequently building this one and that one up there whilst we waited for all of the iron to produce our algae production facility. And I have come up with a wonderful solution for how we're going to extract the algae from the bottom of the reservoir tank up to the top. And we're going to put it into a little building that's going to go right here. This little section is not going to be as big as that. These are just some 18 by 18 squares I put down to kind of get an idea for spacing. I'll probably bring this one in, maybe two more, and this one in, maybe two more, and then make this smaller so that there'll still be like little three wide paths along the way over there. We'll see. This will probably be corn, uh, corn, there I go again, carrots, this will probably be <laughs> potatoes, modified root, and this will be wheat, right, modified grass, and uh, we'll make that uh, <laughs> all nice and fancy, I don't know if I'll have like a barn here, maybe, so that everything can kind of, oh, maybe, for these two, have everything kind of sifting into it, and uh, maybe for these two, have like a little chamber off to the side where each one has its own little deposits go, I don't know, and then this will be the algae room. You know, we'll get to that. But before we do that, I need to finish loading up this particular iron farm with villagers. I do believe 12 will be sufficient this time to get enough in there. Oh boy, we'll find out soon enough. And in the meantime, whilst I'm working on this project over here, I'm going to be over there at the village. Whoop. Over yonder. Come here, you. Come on, village. Why is... Is that me? Is it my spawn distance and my chunks? Let me see here. Video. Nope. Ludicrous. That's me. Uh, just perhaps I haven't loaded up, but I'll go get the villagers out of there. And... Wait, is that it? Did those guys fill in already? They filled in already. Excellent. Let's see. Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough? Do I have iron golems spawning already? Let's find out, right? So none on this layer. And let's see. None on this layer. Okay, so what I'm going to do, get rid of this, is get rid of all of this piping, because if I need to bring another dude, I can, and uh, I'll put him in the little spot that's over there. So I'll get rid of all of this and start working on the project down below so you can see what I'm talking about as far as the collection chamber goes for the algae processing facility. Welcome back, my friends. You find yourself at the bottom of my algae collection slash production facility. It's a production facility, and it will be a collection facility here pretty soon as I complete this part. Now, what I've done is... Well, I need to complete it still. I need to see if this guy will jump through here, and I'm sure he will, right? Excellent, so that's going to work out just fine. Let me get out of the way and get out of here, you. What are you trying to do? You know you're not coming up here anyways. Get out of here. All right. So, let me get these guys out of the way. At least make them small so they don't jump on me anymore. Is that small enough? There we go. And these guys over here. And I'm going to finish up these. Um, boom. So, this interior section now... Whoops. Once it's filled with water, will act as an elevator that goes all the way up. Oh, these guys are starting to annoy me. <laughs> I don't want my sign to be crooked. Come here. You're all vanquished. All of you. Take that. Algae production is at an all-time high down here. All right, there we go. Get this guy. All right, how many more? These four? All right, let me get these done real fast. All righty. All righty. All righty. All righty. And this one. I'm not sure if this is the direction I was facing, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I think, I mean, I'm not really printing anything on them anyways, right? All right, that guy and this guy. Excellent. And now I could go up there, but I should put down some glass blocks first. Pardon me. Let's do this. This is the plan over here. All right. That's looking good. Oh, right on. Let's see if I can stretch out. Oh, I can't quite. I can't quite. All right. All right. I'll just do it like this then. Over 
over here. Oh yeah, this thing's really coming together. It's really going to be pretty. <laughs> I like my builds to be functional, but I like my builds to look good too. It is better to look good than to feel good, my darlings. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Alright, here we go. This guy, and then I gotta get through that one over there. So, a little proof of concept here is looking pretty good. Ouch. Okay. Running out of glass. Do, do. And then water, I think is the next step. Now, there's a couple ways we could do this. Um, and I think the way I want to do it is here and here. Oh, they didn't generate. All right, well, let's do that and that then. Let's see if we can get these two to generate a source. It did. All right, or did it? <laughs> it did not. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Okay. So there. Wait, did it? Nope, I guess it didn't. Well, we're going to fix that. We're going to get some kelp, and we're going to turn this whole thing into a water elevator. <laughs> yep. All right, let me go get some kelp. I'll be right back. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, my friends, I have completed the beginning of the collection system elevator. You know, this is the, the bottom section, the proof of concept part that has to work before <laughs> the rest of it does, you know. Uh, the elevator should work all on its own, but I'm going to take the liberty of adding a couple of key features here. Um, let's see here. This guy, this guy, and that should make this a little more entertaining to look at from the sides at least. Yeah. And then whenever a slime comes in here, it'll just be shot up to the top, which is what we're going to want, you know. And then once it's up here, it can bounce around and go wherever it needs to go. Uh, because once we get up to the top, there's going to be, you'll see, there'll be some iron golem uh, attraction systems in place that uh, help me convert them from large into medium into small. Okay. So I guess, wow, that looks pretty good. I like it. Oh, yes, man. I like it. I think I did a pretty good job so far on that. Right on. Yeah, that's big enough. That's big enough for them to jump in there. And I, I like the trap doors on the bottom. Hmm. Right on. Sweet. Can't wait. All right. Let me go get some more iron and start uh, putting in some more of the sidewalls. The thing is, there'll be water down there pushing them around in certain places. So while they're right now randomly jumping around, eventually water will force them into those. Look at that. There goes one there. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, it's going to work out just fine. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. All right. Up, up, up the ladder. Thank you very much. All right. Going to continue working on getting these blocks in place around the farm here. Boop, boop. Keep building up the walls. Welcome back, my friends. As you can see, this thing is producing iron, so I'm gonna, whoops, actually, I'm gonna need that back. <laughs> I want to make sure I can get up and out of here. So let me get this golem cleared up here real fast. Go ahead, big golem. Enjoy your trip. Well, actually, let me get up on top here. Uh, okay. You, uh, you, and you, and finally, you. Goodbye, Golem! So, this thing is producing uh, like a boss. And now, I can take this down. Do I have a bucket of water? I do. Uh-oh. I probably should have done that part first. Okay. Um, I can put some dirt underneath that and collect that. But, you know what? I'm going to come back to collect this. All right. Despite how amazingly fast it is. <laughs> all right, maybe I'll just boom, get all this knocked out real fast first. All right, because we are also working on getting this guy built up to this stage. It's, oh, come on, deploy. All right, and... Wow. No, I bounced off! Oh, bummer. Back up to the top. Nice and slow. Come in real slow. Turn around a couple times. There we go. And, oh, I walked off again! <laughs> okay, well, anyways, we're still in the process of building the collection tube up to a point that's going to be somewhere in between these two because based on the size of the building I ex expect I'm going to have, it's probably going to be roofed off there. I'm going to want this thing to be maybe like two-thirds of the way up between this one and that one. 
So that thing is still ongoing. But now that we've got six iron farms going, let me show you what the five iron farms worth of stuff has been doing. I just went and grabbed a whole bunch of blocks or iron to make blocks. So let's see in the last 20 minutes. Wow. So it is producing big time nowadays, ladies and gentlemen, a big time. All right. We're going to be able to get this thing finished up quickly. In fact, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to build that up to its point first. And then once that's built up there, we can switch over to some quartz because the structure coming this way can be all quartz, right? Hmm. And this thing is almost there. Sweet. Man, I can't wait. Can't wait. Well, my friends, I've got this built to this far now, and I've started working on a collection building, the final building where, you know, all of the little slimes will be. And I'm kind of thinking about what I'm going to do. And it looks like, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to put full quartz blocks down here along this inner ring uh, rather than the steps, and then do the steps on the inside so that all of this is like this. I don't know what I'm going to do here with these floor indicators. That would be like one floor indication and the other floor indication you can kind of see marked out on that one, but not on the other three. Uh, that top part right now is a collection tray, as it were. If I put water in the corners, it'll be pretty close to the middle. Uh, I would have to do some work with it, though, to make sure everything kind of funneled in there. And now I just kind of got to take a step back and figure out how exactly I want to have the slime blocks uh, presuming the largest of the large, all types will come up the water elevator, but presume the largest of the large. How am I going to filter that guy out through a iron golem filtration system? And then how am I going to dump the medium ones into small? And then how am I going to collect them all? I don't know. I might be a little too close to this project right now. So I'm going to take a little break from it overnight and then I'm going to come back to it tomorrow. But uh, let, me, let me take a quick nap and think about what I'm going to do here. And I'll be back with more in just a moment. Well, my friends, I stepped back away from that project over there for a little while and came over here and built another module node for the Iron Cube. This is the Northeast module node one. I'm leaving the beacon on for now because I also had to come over here and dig back a lot of this. Uh, I think it looks all right for now. You know, it still looks totally fake, but as I continue to mold this back, maybe I'll be able to keep that high point there and I'll be able to build that uh, high on the high on the hill kind of fort, my my little fort, not like a Tons new terror fort, but just like a may, maybe a main keep, you know, maybe I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, and it gave me an opportunity to step back away from this thing and kind of think about what I wanted to do with it. So, what's going to happen is the water elevator is going to get them all the way up here. Uh, that dirt is there so that I can make water streams that come over here and then I'll remove it and then the water will do all of that wonderfully. Over here will be a golem. You know what? Let me, um, no, let me do it from here first. Up over here will be a golem and there'll be uh, a cactus that the large ones will be able to jump over and get towards, but the small and medium should fall through. So this is the one that'll turn large into medium and then it's going to drop down into a very small water, uh, you know, water stream that come to, comes around to this side and goes around to that side. So it's kind of going to split. So it'll go in two different directions and it'll come over here and then there'll be another opportunity for the mediums to try to be vanquished by another golem that'll be here. And then that'll drop down and then the two water streams will come out and they'll kind of funnel into what I think will be like a bath, a circular uh, draining uh, pool. Then the pool will come in and I want to move the... A uh, little one small slime around in a little two by two tubes, maybe, or maybe one by two, and just kind of have them go around, around the room on the top floor, and then <laughs> on the corner of the of the at the end of the top floor they would come down. I guess it would kind of come up here, and then they would drop down, and then they would from here go this way and this way and this way. Uh, because over here would be an observation window into the thing. There would be the door over there, and you would see them kind of doing their thing. And then there'll be, I don't know, it's chests perhaps <laughs> down below. Or shulker, oh, shulker boxes, white shulker boxes. No, green shulker boxes? I'm not sure, because it's going to be algae. We'll figure something out on the color scheme. But I think that is the plan for how the... Elevator and declination is going to ha happen, you know. All right, so in the meantime, let me go ahead and put the water in for this bad boy because I've got it. 
and I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, welcome back. Well, I've been kind of going back and forth on this little building here for a while now, and suddenly it dawned on me that I had it one wide this way, two wide this way, one wide this way for some reason, uh, and I'm not sure why, especially since it's kind of going to be uniform around a central pillar that is 4x4, four four, or actually 6x6, six six, including the column pieces. So I'm going to have to adjust this in some fashion. Uh probably make it wider by one rather than make it narrower by one I think or maybe not I don't know we'll come back to that uh, but up here I've done a little more of the funneling system just outlining it in glass there's some bits that I'm gonna want to add some iron to uh, I might put like an iron extension here that comes out right or or not right I might just put one here that comes out or that one might be the one that goes out back I guess I should say or would say to kind of support that you know and then this one could come sideways or it could come forward because this is going to dip a tray again and come forward yet again and then it's going to start splashing into this thing so that's the layout for that <laughs> all right I think I've got enough time in me to do one more little bit to kind of get this where it needs to be but also, while I'm thinking about it, you see this little 3x3 three three chamber that's kind of right there? Like, this is the drop shaft here, right? This little 3x3... Three th oh, splash! Great dive! I'm going to give it a 9 out of 9. Over here, there's like a, a 3 or... Wait, no, well, it'd have to be 4 wide, wouldn't it? There's a 4 wide area that's 4x2 by, by however many high. So I keep flinching off to the right because there's fireworks going off outside of my house as I'm recording, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year's. Uh, I think there's space in there that I'm going to put a water, veiler, a water elevator up and a water elevator down and move a couple of green guys in there and have them... Hey, oh, sploosh. Great one. I'm going to give that one an 8.5. I'm going to move a couple of green guys in there so that they can move around in there. And there might be more iron blocks there such that I can put in some redstone bits so that might be some detailing I'm going to do here in a little bit. So I think that's the next step for the final cut of the uh, video. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get working on that and come back and show you where I'm at, including probably moving this guy. Boom. Did you hear that one? Wow. Welcome back, my friends. I am now at the uppermost section of the algae collection apparatus. And if we get out here and kind of fly around a little bit, let me make sure I've got my rockets on. I sure do. You can see that we have constructed quite a bit more. If we come over here and take a look from the side, you can see I've put the golem in at the top. Right? He's a little further back. He's two blocks back from there, so the large ones will kind of go up and get him. The medium and small ones will probably miss. They'll probably just fall straight down the tube. Right? So coming straight down the tube. Let me see if I can get a nice soft landing here. A little soft enough, soft enough. They'll come down the tube and land down here. I'll have some water down there that'll dispense and come around and it'll flow this direction and get them pretty close to the edge here where they will begin to observe the iron golem and try jumping at him. And there's a, only a one block gap there, so that should catch the mediums and the smalls and the large if a large happens to still be there, right? So that will fall down there. And then there's a water stream. Let me, you know what? Let me get up there real fast. Let me give you a nice little... Oh, oh boy, did I not have my... Yeah, it's good to go. It's just not always good to go. All right, let's go over here. I'll jump out of this hole and start to fly in. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, is that too fast? Is that too fast? Possibly. All right, so up here, let me go ahead and scooch up all this stuff anyways while I'm thinking about it. All right, that guy. Replace that block. Excellent. All right, let's get this dirt out of here. Nom, 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 nom. And let's go ahead and scoop up these two guys. Put them both in there. Scoop up this guy. Scoop up my bed. Temporary bed. All right, let's go back up here. All right. Actually, I should be able to show you from the very start. Okay. Let's get this one. Oh, that's not the one I needed to jump up on. This one is. All right, so bang. All right, so as I was saying, when they fall down from up there, there will be water buckets here. That'll push them over to here, which should be close enough for them to start seeing that iron golem and go after him. And over here, it'll push just a little bit further. 
I had this section down here rigged up with dispensers so that the villagers I plan on putting in there, and I'll give you a closer look at that in just a second, uh, would operate it. As it stands, they will turn this light on from time to time, and up at the top there's a little bit more. Uh, but over here, again, once it's just one gap, they should be able to get vanquished over here. My light source is over here so people can see, and uh, yeah, that water source there. All right, so that water source there. We'll push everything along, and even the little guys will eventually jump off of this stuff over here, over into the corner, and then from this corner, they'll ploosh down into the collection reservoir of that system down there, which is the next building to be built, all right, as part of this overall collection system. Both sides are identical over on that side and this side. That beam, I don't know why I decided to make that beam go out that way just a little bit. Just, oh yeah, it looks kind of, before I built this out, it looked real flimsy. And uh, even with this, it still kind of did. Like it needed that little extra support. And I think this is going to make it look all right. Uh, oh, good thing I came back in through here. Need to patch up this bad boy so nothing can get in there. All right. All right. So they'll drop into here. And then eventually my water sources here will do something you know, and kind of funnel them to a middle section, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, and then we'll do more with that. Let me head on up to the very top and show you what I was talking about with some of those villager things. Boom. All right. Up, up, up. Okay. Uh, that might be... Well, oh, no. Oh, oh, hey. Eh. Shoot. That's kind of where I wanted to be. So let me see if I can spot where I need to drop in first. I get turned around up here. All right, so yeah, I can drop in right here, I think. Yeah, safe enough. All right, as you can see, the water elevator comes up and there's pressure plates there. Underneath those, oh, let me see if I go very delicately. I have some iron gates just to kind of give it some movement here. Whenever they step on those, the gates will kind of vent open. Some gauges and dials so everything can looks all official and there's some redstone kind of doing this thing. And again, the pressure plate, when the guys walk on them, they'll light those up. So uh, that's something we're going to save for the next episode, loading this thing up, because that is all the time I have for today, my friends. I sure do hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please do consider subscribing for more content like this coming real soon. Next time, we will wrap up the collection system and probably fill this with water and get it launched. And if you can't wait that long, YouTube has hand-selected a video for you on the left, and I have put together this entire build log on the bottom left. Until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again real soon.